hello so today we will talk about how you can uh, study actuarial science and have a career in different fields other than actuarial science uh, what happens but you have the experience of clearing some of the actual uh, papers and i think most of the actual papers are very tough to clear i know the pass percentage is less than 10% in most cases yeah i but, agree with that uh, but there is some uh, like there's a different society across the globe for example australian actuarial society uk us and so what most of students uh, do they write a exam in different society for example there is a ct3 so i am not sure right now this is the uh, the name of exam but it is basically probability and statistic paper so you can write from india society from uk or from, from the US, us australia but you think that uh, maybe a foreign society it is a bit easier to clear uh, the exam i can't say this thing but sometimes what happens uh, like you have like this exam is happening one after one okay. so your first exam from india might not be very uh, good attempt but uh, you get some experience mm -hmm. and then it will help you in another society exam okay. and sometimes it is the case uh, like uh, one paper for example ct3 is coming is was very difficult from indian society but it was not the case for given year from uk society okay okay so you did your bachelor's degree in economics and then master's degree in quantitative finance and then you started your career with crystal right so how was how was the experience uh, my question is actually did actual uh, papers your experience of clearing actual papers help in getting your first uh, first job in crystal uh, was it helpful it was not the case and uh, just i want to rectify you i didn't switch from uh, actuarial to no no what I, I i did not i did not say that you you would switch from actual uh, to risk analytics you were studying for actuarial uh, to become an actuary you had you had cleared a couple of papers before uh, starting your career what i'm saying is no, that no so it your... was the case uh, it was the case definitely it helped me in terms of uh, in terms of like having additional qualification okay. which uh, sometimes companies consider okay so i got that benefit because when i got placement in crystal uh, the panel was highly qualified like a phd people mm -hmm. so i think they considered my actuarial qualification okay so it was it did help then yes right. it helped okay but uh, was it also helpful uh, in uh, doing projects where did you ever use what you studied in actual science in actual projects in real world projects i guess no uh Except once uh, once i used uh, like uh, i use basic check interest rate model okay okay uh, so in some cases you definitely use some of the technical stuff but i think it helps it you it helps uh, it helps why uh, because in actuarial science there are lot of uh, real life problems for example financial mathematics which is used in derivatives type of work yeah. there in actuarial science there is a statistic which is used in uh, in yeah. risk management so the bottom line here is that if you have couple of actuarial papers you have cleared couple of actuarial papers you uh, your chances of getting a data analyst job uh, in insurance company or in a financial service company uh, increases so that helps so if you have a background in mathematics engineering or any quantitative science statistics economics you can think of actually writing uh, actual papers in india or elsewhere in uk uh, us and then uh, that will uh, actually help you getting uh, your first job uh in uh, in financial service companies in banks and insurance companies as a quantitative analyst or a data analyst right yes okay thanks for sharing this uh one other question i had was that uh do you really think that anyone can write actual papers and complete or uh, or do you think that it is only for people who are really good in you should have some understanding of okay, math so you should have some understanding of math and should be really be interested in mathematics right uh, 
uh, yes because exams are very rigorous mm. if very rigorous you, exam uh, that for sure if you are not uh, you are not good in like you are not good in maths or you are not very hard working student then it will use your chance of getting success in the exams okay so uh, i would say you should uh, have certain good skills in maths at least 12th class maths which includes a uh, differentiation integration limits these are the most common terms uh, which are used in lot of uh, actuarial uh, actuarial exams yeah and then you should be uh, hard working and determined yeah These and the good the and the good thing with the uh, people who have cleared uh, actual exams is that they are really hard working people and they are uh, reasonably good in mathematics if not great i've come across many actually who are really great in mathematics uh, who who pursued actually uh, actual science and they have done wonderfully well actually in in uh, many areas of data science I worked with a couple of people when I was in Ford. Uh, they were uh, people with some actual papers, and they were doing very well. Right? They had a good understanding of mathematics, statistics, financial mathematics, um, hazard model, all that stuff. So this was quite good actually. So highly recommended to uh, for people who are uh, aspiring to be data scientist or quantitative analyst in insurance companies or in in banks. you will get a very good grounding of mathematical modeling if you do uh, actual science you may not do it full time so you can do full time maths degree or uh, statistics degree or uh, engineering degree and on part time basis you can write uh, the actual papers from the actual society so you have actual society in all countries most countries you can write actual papers on part time basis um and uh, that is more like your cfa and frm all that stuff although it is a lot more rigorous compared to cfa and frm but in good thing with actual science is that you need not complete uh, all the papers you just complete a few of them like four five of them uh, that will give you a very good grounding on uh, mathematical modeling right and later on if you want to really pursue that uh, long term and do uh, and become an actuary that's fine you can there like some 15 papers uh, if i know correctly right so you can know more about it you can do a bit of a google search so good thanks for coming on so thanks pooja